Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and if there's any of these blokes, this is my old mate, Miss Blade. Miss Blade kicking us off in this tier 7 extravaganza. That's right, four Ace Tanker replays in one epic video. It's a Saturday extravaganza, and you can see Miss Blade's got the King Tiger C. This is a captured King Tiger. It's an American heavy tank. I know, I was confused as well. I'm sure you are as well. If you've got Twitch Prime, if you're lucky enough to have Twitch Prime, uh, and I highly recommend you get it for a number of reasons, um, you'll have access. No matter what server you're on, you'll have access to this bad boy. It's a tier 7 American heavy tank. It looks it looks German. Yes, it does. And uh, Miss Blade's a community contributor as well. His links will be down below. He does Twitch and YouTube. And he's painted it with that Twitch uh, unique style. And I think this is the unique style that you also get for Twitch Prime. Either this either this month or, or last time. Every month of the last few months, Twitch Prime has... Uh, if you link your, your Twitch and your Lord of Tanks account, no matter what server you play on, you get a few, you've been able to get access to a few uh, a few bonuses some missions some uh, crew members camouflage styles and tanks such as this this is the king tiger c tier 7 american heavy tank it was a captured king tiger tank from the second world war tell me about the guns Joey. 88 millimeter gun traditional 88 german 88 millimeter german gun i would imagine 240 alpha damage 203 penetration with armor piercing rounds which is standard in this bad boy apcr which is premium for 237 uh, penetration so an extra an extra 30 odd uh, 30 plus millimeters of penetration for those ones that you've got to get through as miss play puts his first shot into the fv201 a43 that's another odd tank that's a uh, that's a t7 british premium tank which I've got one in my garage. I can't remember. It was for some kind of uh, some kind of mission as well. Now the AMX 178B on the enemy team is um, determined to cap this one out. But of course, because it's in counter, it takes forever. You could see there just before the cap was blocked, it um, it was on well over three minutes, and that's plenty of time for the T30 485M to find the AMX 178B. And it looking like these tank destroyers and this heavy tank who identifies as a tank destroyer to, to snipe out the uh, the T6 French wheeled light tank. Anyway, back to Misplate. He's up to 970 hit points of damage so far. He's blocked the shot as well. He's blocked 320 hit points from the T29. There's another block shot from the T34 100 tier 7. Is it the check? Is it the check? Medium? I always get confused with that one. And he pops another one into the British tier 7 heavy reward tank. Reward tank? Premium tank, whatever you want to call it. Shoots him again. Takes him down to just over a one-shot. Now, uh, Misplay was platooned up with his old mate Rigid Steel from SPQR Clan in the T28 HDC. T28 HDC is another reward tank. That's the first, no, the second personal mission reward tank, uh, the Tier 7 American Tank Destroyer. Two ones are score. Now, the base is blocked. And this is something else which is unique to encounter mode. If somebody is um, trying to cap the base, of course, there's only one base. And uh, the AMX 178P was trying to capture the base. If that T3485 just rolling on stops the stops the, the base being captured. It blocks it. And then you can see that up there in the top. Anyway, back to misplay. He's up to 2406 damage done now. 1190 damage blocked. He's, he's, he's loving this uh, Tiger C. King Tiger C. Twitch Prime. Free with Twitch Prime. I'm not sure how long you get to keep it for. Um, some people say that you keep it for as long as you maintain a Twitch Prime account. Other people are saying that if you've still got it at the end of the year or the start of next year, then you'll get to keep it for free. I'm sure we'll find out at some stage soon. I, look, it looks like a good tank. I'm enjoying it. I'm not having the best time with it. I'm not having, not having as good a time as Misplay's having with it. But of course, Misplay's a much better player than I am. Check Misplay out on Twitch and YouTube. Unfortunately for Misplay, all those shots, all of a sudden, the enemy team have worked out how to penetrate the Tiger C. The T28 clearly looking in his direction now. Goes for the tap. Shoots him. Doesn't penetrate. That was that really thick part of the gun mount. Looks like the T29 just fired and that's going to give um, Skinny Homer the chance to get rid of the Tier 7 American Heavy Tank. Tier 7 American Heavy Tank, the T29, known as one of the, one of the better Tier 7 Heavy Tanks. Now that AMX 178B He's clearly intent on capping this game out. He's still down there on 473 hit points. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he's thinking. He's, he's sort of constantly spotted. You'd think these guys would be able to just um, just enjoy farming damage off him. But anyway, like I said earlier, with the base capture on encounter, it does take a long time. Still well over two minutes left 
on the cap. Six fours a score. Misplayed from Mihi Clan in the King Tiger Sea. The Tier 7 American slash German. The captured German. The American heavy tank at Tier 7 premium tank. 2,857 damage done. Nearly 2,000 damage blocked. He is down to 387 hit points though because those last few shots from the enemy team, seem, they seem to just find his weak spots pretty quickly. Early on in the game, he was blocking stuff like you wouldn't believe. But with a score an 8-4, you'd think he'd be pretty confident about this result. And look at that skin. Look at that skin on the Tiger, King Tiger C, or the Tiger C, whatever you want to call it, the King Tiger C, the Capture King, it looks fantastic. You get that skin with that Twitch Prime as well, I think. I've got a couple of them, and every month they've been they've been doing it of late, and I reckon it's a pretty good initiative from uh, from Twitch and World of Tanks. There's a T34-100, shoots him, takes him down to 163 hit points, uses his first aid kit to repair himself. He did get um, stunned again by artillery. Now, he wants to... He wants to be able to shoot these guys. There's two one-shots here. The T-34-100 at Tier 7 and the Tier 6 Russian Premium Medium Tank, the T-34-85, on 72 hit points. Just saw an artillery shot go towards the T. What the hell was that? The T-34-100 gets brave, gets lucky, gets a shot into Mistblade. Mistblade flies over the hill, takes him out, but he's down to 77 health. 3,385 hit points of damage done. 2,240 damage blocked by armor. What's left on the enemy team? The AT-8. I'm guessing he's still camping back at the base and also artillery the amx 13 f3 whatever the hell that is tier six i guess that's what it says tier six there's the at8 misplayed shoots him once pulls back for the reload aims takes his time looking for tracking shots artillery stuns him shoots him doesn't manage to penetrate all track just hits the edge right there at the back of the tank aims a little bit more for, forward this this time shoots you on the back of the engine deck for 253 takes him down to 84 hit points it looks like the at8's given up there now t34 85m gets the kill and that just leaves artillery and uh misplay sitting there go oh where would the artillery be probably down the bottom is no, he's not going to go on a cliff dive, is he? Is not. Look at where the tanks are. They're chasing. They're looking for this artillery piece. They can't find him. They're looking for him. Looking for him. 3,852 damage done by my old mate Misplayed. 2,240 damage blocked by armor. A little bit of assisted damage as well. Will this be an ace? You know it's going to be an ace. He's had an absolute ripper. There's the. Um, there he is. Is he looking? Was he looking to get off the edge of the cliff? I don't know. Misplayed gets another cheeky shot in there to bring his damage up to not far off. 4,000 hit points of damage, and uh, let's see how he went with that result. Of course it was an ace. I told you there were going to be four ace tanker replays in today's video, and I wasn't lying. That was an ace tanker mastery badge from the old mate Misplayed from Mihi Clan. Check him out on Twitch and YouTube. Links will be down below. Community contributor, and of course I had the great pleasure of meeting the great man in Sydney not too long ago for the first time after years of talking shit and taking the piss out of each other on uh, in-game and on uh, TeamSpeak and Discord and all that kind of stuff, and it was a pleasure to meet him. Really nice guy as well. That was an ace tanker mastery badge for me old mate Misplayed. It was also the Hand of God medal for surviving and winning the battle having received damage from at least four different enemy tanks. Uh, Bruiser medal for some internal crew and modular damage. Duelist, fire for effect, shelf proof. Two bonds because he got the steel wall and he also got the high calibre for that ace tanker mastery badge. 1,386 base experience. 3,937 hit points of damage, two kills, he fired 24 shots, 22 hit, that's not bad accuracy, 17 penetrated, 2,240 damage blocked by armor, and a little bit of assisted damage, would have helped with that ace tanker mastery badge as well. 130,000 credits, that's after tax, with a premium account, there was 51,000 there as part of uh, personal reserves, but uh, even without that, it would have been about 80 odd thousand, that's, that's not too bad. For a, um, for a tier 7 premium tank in that 9 minute game. Let's on and move on to game number 2 now. It's another community contributor. This is the Flying Elite. Again, I met the Flying Elite in Sydney as well. Um, and it was, again, after years of um, sending replays backwards and forwards, talking about the game and... Um, you know, just you know, you know what it's like. The community is bigger than the game. The old mate Jezza says. After years of, of of talking about stuff, I finally got to meet uh, the flying elite. He's a moderator, community contributor, and uh, very very good player as well. He's in Yeti Clan, and he's platooned up with his old mate Counterman and Neo Kai in uh, the T44122. T44122 is a tier seven. It's a premium tank, but it's a premium tank that was only given to. Um, Moderators, I think it was. I'm sure he'll let me know because uh, he's told me more than once. And um, have a look at that. <laughs> have a look at that um, paint job. That looks absolutely fantastic. It's Russian. And have a look at that. 399 hit points of damage into the Type 62. You can see he's running um, food there, extra combat rations for the Russian uh, 
Russia, as a Russian premium consumable, that's going to help his reload time, his aim time, his um, vision, all that kind of stuff. And he's going for 100% marks of excellence on this tank. That's what he told me anyway. Let's see how he does it. Now, Counterman's in one of these bad boys as well. He's a moderator as well. And Neo Kai's in the AT-15A, which is the British, I think it's a preferential matchmaking tank. I'm not sure if the T-44-122 has preferential matchmaking. Hopefully he lets me know. Maybe I should have asked him before I started recording. That would have been much better. As he puts one into the Leo. Now you can see there. You can see, look at that. He's got three marks there. He keeps driving through bushes, which makes it a little bit challenging to have a look at him, but there, I think you should be able to see him there. He's got three marks of excellence on the T44122. Now, when you see these in game, you think you might think, "Hello, what's what's going on here?" This is a um, tank that I don't see very much because there's not many of them out there. Now, flying elite in the T44122, you, you saw some pretty big shots going into the enemy tanks there. You're getting getting some spotting damage here. That's going to help his marks of excellence. It's a 122 millimeter gun, 390 alpha damage, 217 penetration. That's with premium ammunition, which has always got loaded. He does have two AT rounds loaded. Standard rounds are 175. And uh, premium is 217. Well, when you're going for 100% marks, look, I'm no expert on marks of excellence, but when you're going for 100%, I'm guessing this is the way to do it. Now, Flying Elite's no dummy. He knows how to play this game. Very, very good player indeed. In the T44-122, already up to 1,700 damage done. 1,750 assisted damage. Of course, assisted damage helps with marks of excellence as well. 4 twos are scored. We're playing on... <laughs> I was going to say Fisherman's Bay. What an idiot. Um, Westfield. We know about Westfield. I'm distracted, okay? I'm a distracted. Now, wow, there you go. There's some more tanks. I'd be looking at shooting this guy and then ramming him. And that's probably what he's doing as well. Gets the kill on the T-71DA. Gets rid of the light tank. The, the American auto-loading light tank. Rans the Comet as well. Doesn't block the shot from the Comet. 139 damage though. Who cares about getting 139 damage as he puts in 375 into the British Tier 7 medium tank and rams him for his third kill of this game now hungrily looking towards the p43 ter shoots him in the back takes him down to 61 hit points there's the uh, gw panther getting spotted there by the ebr french wheeled light tank over there in the corner the uh Looks like the P43 going for the French wheeled light tank. Flying Elite flying forward as fast as he can. Seven fours to score. Looking for, is this going to be another kill? Is that destructible? It should be. Uh, Counterman picks up the kill on that occasion. And that brings the score back to 8-4 as he climbs up this hill. It's it's a Russian tank, so it's not going to have the most powerful engine in the world. So we'll speed it up as he goes up there. 3,138 hit points of damage done. 2,500 assisted damage. Coming up here looking hungrily for more damage. 10-4 is the score. There's a T-29. That'll do. Shoots him. Doesn't quite land the shot. That would have been a kill. That would that have been a kill shot on 280? Yes, it would have been a kill shot. Most definitely had he uh, landed the shot and penetrated it. Looking, looking, trying to tempt the T-29 into shooting. The T-29 shoots. Flying Elite shoots back. Picks up the kill. Neo Kai gets a kill on the Tiger P and that brings the score up to 14-4. Three and a half thousand damage. Or just under three and a half thousand damage. Done 2805 assisted damage and the Flying Elite will be well on the way to 100% marking this tank as he uh, looks there towards he knows that's where the J Panther is going to be where else can he be look at the minimap the um, Flying Elite's team uh, they completely own this part of the map look, hoping for a tracking shot shoots him once gets another um, just under 400 damage and that's a comfortable win 15 to 4. Let's have a look at this result before we move on to our last two Tier 7 Ace Tanker replays in today's Tier 7 Extravaganza. And uh, the next two aren't going to be quite as fast and furious as those two games. That was an Ace Tanker from your old mate, the Flying Elite. Check him out on YouTube. The link will be down below. Community Contributor. Contribu contributor. Community Contributor. <laughs> YouTube. You know, YouTube, whatever. And uh, he's a moderator as well. And uh, it was great to meet you, Flying Elite. It really was. After how many years of, of talking shit through forums and Discord and all that kind of jazz. Ace Tanker Mastery Batch. Bruiser Metal. Spotter Metal. Demolition Export for blowing the head off one of the enemy tanks. The Duelist Fighter. Fire for Effect. He got a bond for the high caliber. He did more damage than anybody else comfortably with 3,815 hit points of damage. Four kills. 1,556 base experience. That's a pretty tidy base score. 14 shots fired, 9 hit, and they all penned. A little bit sniped, nearly 3,000 assisted damage, though. And that uh, 3,000 assisted damage will greatly help not only the credits. You can see there he earned, um, he earned plenty of credits 
um, even though he was firing some gold, but it looks like there's a bit of a miscalculation there. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was uh, some other kind of mission or, or, or event going on. But uh, in that five-minute game, that ace w- certainly would have boosted up his uh, mark of excellence, which that's what he's going for, as, as he says in the, in the description. Let's move on to game number three in this um, Tier 7 Extravaganza. Don't forget to check out Flying Elite on YouTube. The link will be down below. He uh, certainly knows what he's doing. He's been putting up a lot of uh, Yeti Claymore stuff of late, and that's um, well worth looking at, especially if you're into Claymores and all that kind of jazz like I am. Now we're taking our time. Now we're slowing down a little bit before I lose the voice. This is Psy91. Psy91 from Kebab Clan. Possibly one of the best um, clan names I've heard of for a while. Kebab. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good kebab? Anyway, Psy91 is in the Leo, the Tier 7 Swedish medium tank. Now, of course, I did the same I did the same thing a while ago. I uh, re-bought the Leo when the when the when the, the higher tiered Swedish medium tanks came back into the game. Now I'll quicken this up one because it is a bit of a slow start. Psy91 from Kebab Clan in the Leo. Now the Leo is a tank that I I enjoyed it. Some people didn't like it. Now, of course, I had to get a new crew because I'd already put my crew all the way through to the Cran Wagon, the Tier 10 auto-loading Swedish, um, auto-loading Swedish um, heavy tank. And so I had to get a new crew. And like a lot of people, you got a new crew, put it in the Leo, recruited some, uh, some maybe some Christmas crew members, I think it might have been. Um, the gun is pretty tidy, 105mm gun. Now, there's discussion about what's the best gun to use on the Leo. Um, 105mm gun, 300 alpha damage, 155 penetration with standard, 194 with APCR. Now, Psy91 has been spotted here. Psy91 has given me a lot of replays, a few replays over the years. They're always entertaining games. Let's see what he does here. I haven't watched this one yet. I haven't watched this one. Um, obviously, I know what the result is. Let's see how we go. Now, you might have been watching yesterday. Yesterday was a $1,000 giveaway video came out. Just to reiterate, it's we hit a thousand on YouTube and a thousand on Twitch. That's easy. That's that's as simple as we do. Thousand on YouTube, thousand on Twitch. Before the end of August, we give away a thousand bucks worth of stuff. How um, how how cool is that? Finds the Hawk Thirty and shoots him. Unfortunately, the Hawk Thirty shoots him back, knocks out his ammo rack. He fixes it with a quick tap of the four key. I'm more of a five key kind of guy myself, but never mind. Um, Cy ninety one from Kebab shoots the Hawk Thirty again. Cops another two hundred and sixty five damage from the German tier 8 light tank. Now this is a tier 8 game and he's in a tier 7 medium tank. Looking at the mini map, he's a long way forward. He's looking for vision on the enemy team. The Hawk 30 in a very interesting position for a top tier light tank to be in. I'm not too sure what he's thinking. Did I just see, talking of mark of ex- marks of excellence, have a look at that. He's already got three marks of excellence on the bad boy. So I'm not sure if he's trying to go for 100% or if he's trying to um, grind out the either the heavy or the medium um, tank line from Sweden, or both, who knows. Two twos of score, we're playing on Serene Coast, and he's looking around, looking for opportunities to shoot these guys without taking too much more damage. He's down to 464 health. This is, that would be a, oh, no, this would be a good move or not. It's, it, it's a, not a bad trade. He cops 122, but he gives out 304, well over double what he just took from the Panther. But the Panther will certainly be reloaded before he pokes again, or before he's reloaded. That brings his damage up to 1,233 hit points. Now, did the Panther fire I think he did, so he takes the opportunity to poke out and shoot him again. That brings a Tier 7 German medium tank down to a one-shot. But again, even though he's stunned, he will most likely be uh, reloaded before Psy 91, our hero in the Leo. There he goes, shoots him and gets his first kill of the game. That brings the score up to 4-3. There was somebody um, complaining at the start of the game that uh, their chance to win was too low or all of our tanks were crap. And that was right at the beginning. That was not based on where the tanks went. I don't think where the tanks have gone is... Oh, the east is a little bit concerning. They really should be pushing this western flank. They own the whole western side of the map, which in my opinion is the most, still, still the most important part of this map. Psy 91 looking there for vision, trying to find the Tiger P, which was last spotted back at the enemy base, or that Hawk 30 again. There's a Hawk 30. Now, he, uh, he knew he got spotted because as soon as he saw the Hawk 30, the Hawk 30 started looking in Psy 91's direction. So he didn't wait for his gun to be fully aimed. He just fired because every now and then those shots are going to land. Better off shooting and not waiting to be shot because he's only got 342 hit points. Now, I mentioned earlier, somebody mentioned at the start of the battle that uh, our tanks are all crap. Now, this is something I've, I often talk about it to, to clanmates and friends. People often have the XVM chance to win turned on. I can only assume that that's what 
they were talking about. Now, Sign 91 from Kebab Clan has decided to turn around and head back to the base because look at the map. The Maubracker, top tier German heavy tank, has gone all the way to their back. He's going to be backed up by a T29, possibly an AMX CDA 105 tier 8. Um, that's the French baguette tank. And so it looks like he was going back to try and get some resets. But on 650 hit points, something is hitting that Maubrecker quite comfortably. But he's in trouble. His team's in a little bit of trouble here. Five to nine. Five to nine. Now, XVM chance to win. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or hate it. I've, I've turned it off for a long time. And I find that I enjoy my gameplay a lot more since having all that stuff turned off. Just play every game individually but I'm not I'm no expert there's plenty of better players than me out there that run it um, but it, it just seems to that people don't enjoy the game if they if they occasionally not always some people they tend to not enjoy it if it looks like they're not going to win I don't know I'm not sure if it's a you know there are plenty of positive things that XVM have introduced to the game like if, if it wasn't for XVM and mod packs then we wouldn't have the, the last known positions on the mini map there's a lot of other things that we wouldn't have automatic crew return we wouldn't have that either but um, so I'm not being totally against modifications to the game but some people don't seem to enjoy it if it looks like we're not going to win the game. So I-91 though, he's not giving up. 7-10 is the score. They're down by three tanks. He's looking at the SU. Clearly, he can, maybe he's already used his repair kit. That's why he continues to aim at the track. He wants to keep him tracked. He does not want to get shot by that SU-101. The SU-101, he might not be able to um, one-shot him, but he can certainly take him down to pretty low. Gets another shot into him and kills him as the AMX CDA-105 comes around. Seeing what Sy-91 is doing, but uh, getting interrupted by the 45TP. So Sy-91 takes the opportunity to shoot the French premium tier 8 tank destroyer and that that um, oh, the, the rain no the, the <laughs> enemy Lorraine killed him there you go there you go good shooting artillery artillery was going for the shot on the 45 TP but instead killed the AMX CDA you've got to take the good with the bad face you got to take the good with the bad that's um is certainly going to uh, help Psy 91's chance, a top tier tank destroyer, out of the game. Only one tier 8 tank left on the enemy team, and that's what Psy 91 from Kebab will be thinking. They'll be thinking, we're right, well and truly in this. 10 1 is the score. Artillery, enemy artillery took out the Udez 03. That's a top tier tank out of Psy 91's team. And now there's only one tier 8 tank left on each team. And lo and behold, it's artillery. 10 11 is the score on Serene Coast. So I-91 from Kebab, up to 3,039 hit points of damage. Um, 3,039 hit points of damage. 358 assists of damage. Rolling forward, looking for vision on maybe the J-Panther. The Tiger P was last spotted over here in the central part of the map. The, um, of course, the artillery haven't been spotted yet, but the J-Panther was last spotted here. Three arties on the enemy team and two normal tanks. One arty on... Um, one arty on Sy-91's team. And three normal tanks, of which he is one of them. The T-43 and the 45 TP back there in the middle of the map. The, the 45's got a little bit of health. That J Panther, though, he would love some help to get rid of the T-7 German tank destroyer. Artillery shoots and misses. Psy-91 looking there over this ridge line, looking for a penetrating shot on the top of the T-7 German tank destroyer. Just spot, says the FV-207. The FV-207, there you go. He's indicating... In the chat, what his um, reload time is, Psy91 looks like he tends to agree. 10 11's a score, 3,039 damage done. 358 assisted damage, just rocking backwards and forwards around this row. On modifications, what I just said a few minutes ago about um, XVM, the chance to win, all that kind of stuff. Two reasons I don't like them, and this is no disrespect to anybody who does like them. Reason number one, I'm yet to see a good player or a player that I find good using it and... Um, having that help the gameplay and the other reason when I removed all that all of a sudden my connection to the game felt a little bit better my ping dropped by about 10% now 10% might not seem like much but when you're used to playing on 200 ping like I am when I first started playing this game I was on 200 ping playing to Singapore and the that, that connection at 200 or 250 um, on an old ADSL connect connection if you live in Australia you'll know what ADSL is and that's um, removing all that stuff the connection just got a little bit big, bit better, and I think that's a better advantage than any any modification I could use um, in, in regards to all that kind of stuff. But if it works for you, it works for you. Then good luck to you. The, uh, it's not the kind of thing that uh, really floats my boat. Now, Sign 91 from Kebab, he's decided to change his MO here. Four minutes left on the clock. We're quicking it up. It looks like he's going to go all the way around to the other side of the map and try his luck from that side. 
artillery indicates that he's ready to rock and roll. Sign 91 with three marks of excellence on his gun. Flying up the Eastern Peninsula. We're making this go quick because we've got another Ace Tanker replay featuring someone that I'm sure you'll all know in, uh, in another little uh, premium German tank destroyer. The E25 coming up next. Sign 91 from Kebab looking for vision on these enemy tanks. Can't see too much. There's three artilleries. Now I'm guessing he's probably thinking if I go over here, if I go over here, I can quite possibly find the enemy artillery for free. If the Tiger P is still where the Tiger P was last seen, there's the oh, there's the J Panther. He was hoping to find an arty. The J Panthers retreated all the way back there. Luckily, Psy 91 gets the first shot, takes him down to 360 hit points. The J Panther shoots him for 203. Artillery finally lands a shot. 136 hit points left on the J Panther. And there's the Tiger P. I don't know what this Tiger P's been doing all this time, but the Tiger P looks like he might be coming for Psy 91 or he might be going for the 45 TP. Let's see how he goes. 10-11 is the score. He gets spotted again. Hopefully he's safe from the enemy, three enemy artilleries. If three enemy artilleries hit him, I reckon if, if two enemy artilleries hit him, it will be game over, Red Rover. The Tiger P on 900 odd health, so he's going to have to shoot him uh, more than once. 298 hit points, so he's going to have to shoot him two more times now that artillery's taken him down to 600 hit points. Looks like the 45 TP shot him, takes him down to 365. Time to start moving, get the gun back in the game. 3,630 damage done, shoots him and kills him, and that evens the score up 11-11. Of course, Sixth Sense goes off because the Tiger P spotted him. As he shot him, don't shoot me, is his in-game name. Now the J-Panther. I'm saying, right here, let's go for the J-Panther. Get rid of the J-Panther, then it's just three artilleries left. The 45 TP taking the lead. A minute and a bit left on the clock. A minute and ten seconds. This is going to go down to the wire, folks. And, oh, there's a couple of arties. There's the J-Panther back there in the corner. Artillery, hopefully the artillery will get rid of at least one of them. Enemy artillery just fired. J Panther just fires as well. So 91 rolling forward as the one minute mark goes on to the clock. The J Panther gets killed by the 45 TP. So 91 shoots the Lorraine, takes him down to 18 hit points. Only 20 hit points between those two tanks. The 45 TP kills the M12. Rolling forward now, there's the... Um, don't even aim. That's how we roll. Don't even aim. Now, the GW Tiger P fires and kills the 45 TP. Quick tap of the 5 key. Fixes his crew, and he's behind a rock. He's got to get up there with only 30 seconds remaining. 270 hit points left on the Tiger P. The Tiger P backs up. He shoots him and kills him with 24 seconds left on the clock. Five kills. Fuck me, says the 45 TP. But uh, Cy 91 says, no problems, me old mate. Hold my beer. I've got this. Let's have a look at that result. No, that's not the one. That's me, old mate, the Flying Elite. That's Psy 91 from Kebab in the Leo. That one went down to the wire. It was an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Not only an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge, but also the Bruiser Medal. Fighter. Fire for effect. He got bonds for the Pascucci's Medal for killing two artilleries. And, of course, the High Calibre for doing more damage than anybody else. Much more. 4,319 hit points of damage. Five kills. Nearly 1,700 base experience. That is what I would call an absolute ripper. He fired 21 shots, 20 hit. Who told me the Leo gun's not accurate? Somebody said the Leo gun's Who said the Leo gun's not accurate when I was playing it? To go back through the media. Oh, we'll, we'll edit that bit out later. 21 shots fired, 20 hit, 17 penetrated. 4,319 hit points of damage. 808 assisted damage. Nearly 50,000 credits. That's after tax with a premium account. But he did get 50,000 with a... Um, uh, the personal mission, that could be the premium tank first win of the day. Something like that, I'm not too sure. In that game, it went for 14 minutes and 40 seconds. Turned that one right around, carried that one on his own. And have a look at that. Absolute, more than double what anybody else did. A shout out to the guy from Psycho in the FV207. He played well, and the 45 TP played well as well. Uh, but let's not take anything away from Psy 91. Without him, that would have been a ruffle stomp. Let's have a look at our fourth and final replay. In this tier 7 extravaganza. Some would say we've saved the best for last. I'm Stewie JP, you're not, and either are, yes, this bloke is, it's me. I know, I can't believe it either. Every now and then one gets through the sensors, or through the, um, I don't know, through the staff, the staff at HR. Anyway, <laughs> Stewie JP and the E25. Now, I was doing some kind of mission, not a, not a personal mission. I think it was some kind of mission where you've got to do... Um, You've got to do a certain amount of uh, shots of damage to get... Uh, I reckon it might have been some bonds. I'm not too sure. might have been one of those Twitch missions. So I look, oh, well, the E25, it's 
it fires pretty quickly. Let's have a look at how we go at this game. We've already got 444 hit points of damage. We're on, what's this map called again? Malinovka. Every now and then, I've got to check. Unfortunately, our AMX 1357 drowned. Trying to get to a pretty groovy spot, I think. And, um... But we've got an EBR Hotchkey, so he's trying to um, spot for us over there. I'm just kicking back like a sniping TD for the first few minutes. I had to do a certain amount of damaging shots. And um, you can see the heavy tanks slowly, slowly, slowly rolling up the hill. But, geez, it's a big drive to get up that hill. Looking, 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 moving the cursor around, looking for looking for shots on the enemy team. Now, this game's not going to go for quite as long as uh, Kebabs. Sign 91 from Kebabs. Um, oh, I feel like a kebab now. Hmm. Anyway, there's a light tank. We've got to shoot this guy. We've got to get rid of him. The first shot misses, but it's okay because the E25 has a very, very fast reload. Now, this is preferential matchmaking, so you don't see tier 9s unless you're platooning with the wrong person in this thing. But this is a tier 8 game. Quite a few tier 8 tanks on this team. AP rounds are standard in this thing. 135 average damage, 150 penetration, 194 with the premium rounds. Just throwing a few blind shots towards all those, you can see on the minimap, all those spots on the minimap where those tanks were last seen. Thinking, oh, the, I'm not getting lit here as I'm shooting, so I might as well throw a few blind shots in towards where those enemy tanks might have been uh, might have been seen last. I don't know if they went through. I don't know at all. And that shot really should have went through as well. A bit of loose shooting at the start of this game. Wait for the gun. There you go. Go. One into the uh, the 45. What's that? One, two, three. That's five damaging shots. Maybe that's what the mission was. I can't remember. It wasn't a personal mission. It was some kind of um, there you go. Into the so who said the French wheel light tanks are hard to hit. Into the side of the hot skis. Doesn't get spotted. Now of course the E25. Uh, there was a great change to tank destroyers a couple of years ago. Now tank destroyers. Um, Never used to lose their camouflage. I don't know where that shot went. I know what you're thinking. We've got to get rid of him. Two shots totally missed the EBR Hotchkiss. Apologies to our EBR Hotchkiss. I really should have landed that shot and maybe you wouldn't have died. Sorry about that. But anyway, hold my bit. I've got this. I've got my first kill and I'm hoping to um, turn this into a bit of a carry. I think I've already got enough damaging shots and I'm thinking, righty -o. What am I going to do now? Two twos a score. A Melanovka. Our heavies are slowly driving up the hill. It's a very slow drive. You don't realise how slow that drive is until you start. Until you drive something quick and you're looking at it from a distance. Now I'm kicking back here with the TDs. I've already done some damage, but let's be honest, I haven't really torn the world apart. Not quite yet. That was a pretty lucky shot. I'm pretty. I'll, I'll drink to that one. Looking around. Looking around. Now. I said about tank destroyers. There were changes to tank destroyers a couple of years ago. When they fired, they didn't used to lose their camouflage rating, I don't think. Something like that. Now they do, but uh, premium tanks don't, or at least the E25 doesn't. And that's one reason people say it's a little bit overpowered. It's fast. It gets around. Often called a co cockroach. I'm sure if I'm wrong, somebody will um, correct me. Knock the tree over to make... Uh, the enemy think, um, no, they won't be watching. Just a bit more camo rating. Looking, looking, looking. There's a Hawk 12. I want to get rid of these light tanks. Only one light tank remaining. The Screw S1 kills the Hawk 12, and that brings the score back to 3-3. Three, three. Now, it looks to me, why am I playing on the Hong Kong server? Looking at the ping, I'm playing on the Hong Kong server for this. No idea why. Maybe it was, maybe it was, must have been, must have been one morning. 4 threes a score. There's the Pantera. I'd love to get rid of this Pantera. Put a few shots into the Tier 8 auto reloading Italian tank. But of course, no, he's no longer spotted. And I'm looking at the minimap now, and I'm probably thinking around about now. All right, nobody's spotting anything. Our light tank is in a pretty good light tank position down there. He's in that... Um is in that spot, but there's the Panther. We need to unload on this Panther. Stewie just try to land a few shots, mate. What the hell? I don't know. Now that looked like it went through, but I could be wrong. 1111 hit points of damage done. 4 3. I'm thinking, right here. I'm sick of sitting back here shooting and missing. We've fired about a million and a half shots. A million and a half shots? Yes, we've fired about a million and a half shots. There's the cockroach. Have a look at it. I've got German flags on it. That's unusual. Don't often put German flags on things. Anyway, four threes to score. Driving there, looking for. Can I, can I snipe up there? No, I think around about now or very very soon, it's it's going to be a little bit of hold my beer moment. I think. I'm driving back here, making sure I'm no longer lit. And yes, it is. Righty out. It's time. This is a place where I like to go. I often do this in a light tank or a medium tank if it's fast enough. This little ditch here, it's not. It's no secret. It's a pretty cool place. The trick is getting there. Still not spotted. Still not spotted. I've got a pretty good crew in this thing. There's the panther. There's that same panther. 
Shoot him once. Now we'll go back into my point of view rather than free cam mode. Got one shot into the Panther. I've got a little bit of cover here from whoever might be sniping over there. And I don't think these guys on the hill can shoot me. I'll probably be proven wrong very, very soon. Looking at the bush there, that's where the light tank died. Um, unfortunately for him, the bulldog's still back there, over there, near the puddle. I'm looking there to where, towards where the panther might poke. Guessing the panther might uh, just go back and uh, and hide. The score's 5-3. We've got 1,239 damage done so far. A little bit of assisted damage. And now this is the spot I love to get into. When it works, it works very, very well. We're right on the edge. We've been spotted. Dive down here to make it hard for the enemy to shoot me. And um, even picked up a little bit of assisted damage there into, was it the panther? It was. They spot the panther again. The panther's still there behind that building. And he's looking our way as well. So, oh, rightio, no worries. Let's get this gun going. He um, looks my way. A little bit there for the mission there. We're not going to do 5,000 damage. I don't want to... I don't want to disappoint anyone. That mission's not going to happen. We're not going to get 5,000 damage. Here comes the panther. All right, boys, give us a hand. Snipers, shoot this guy. Otherwise, he's going to kill me. He'll probably ram me and ram me to get to death. Go for the tracking shot and missed. He's gonna, is he going to ram me? No, he doesn't. Killed him just before he got me. He did shoot me, but of course, once they're dead and they ram you, they can't hurt you. Unless, I think if they land on your head, maybe they can. That's my second kill. 1,925 damage. The E25, the cockroach. Maybe I'm doing something totally wrong. But uh, we're up here. We're having a good time. We're kicking back in this little, um, this little, I don't know, ditch. Now the panther. I'm pretty sure it was the panther that was spotting me when I was up here. So I poke up here. Six cents doesn't go off. So I'm thinking maybe. Oh, this is. I can set myself up for a little bit of a little bit of fun here. 1,925 damage done. 465 assisted damage. Have I pointed out the gun? I think I have. AP, 135 average damage. 150 penetration. 194 with APCR. It's a premium tank. Preferential matchmaking premium tank, the E25. The one that doesn't lose its camouflage uh, when you're shooting, uh, especially when you're in a bush and all that kind of stuff. 8-5 is the score. Looking up there on the top of the hill. Oh, well, if you're going to make it easy for me, um, 45TP, I'm just going to shoot you. 9-6 is the score. Shoot the 45TP again. Of course, it's a, this is what you call a low alpha, high rate of fire tank. Now, our, our, our team... Looks like our team are no longer trying to contest that hill. Look at the mini map. The tiger, um, tiger P has fallen. Tiger P has fallen back. The ISU one five two is now the lead tank on that hill. We've got a few TDs, the Scorpion G and a Striv S one, but I don't think um, the Scorpion G's on eight hundred. The Striv's on seven forty four. They're not the kind of tanks that are going to push. There's the Louie. That's how it's pronounced. At least I get on board Studios. That's how it's pronounced. The low, the Louie. Of course, the turrets are the, the turret's pretty solid. I'm switching to premium ammunition now because I've only got three standard rounds remaining. And if I'm going to be shooting the low, the Louie, the Louver, if you, you know what they call people who call it the Louver, never mind. If, <laughs> if I'm going to be shooting highly armoured things, I might as well use APCR because I'm going to run out of standard ammunition anyway, unless I, um, unless I die. Pretty early. Good shot, M12. Gets the kill on the 45 TP. And we, and we were lucky enough to see it. There's 1,044 hit points left. On the Louis, the tier 8 premium German heavy tank. I haven't bought that yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll buy it. Who knows? All right. We're sitting on 10.8. I reckon we're a bit of a pivotal moment now. Looking at the minimap, the T20 is down there in the southwest corner. Guarding the base. Artillery's in the southeast corner doing artillery stuff. That's the M12. He's on three kills. Credit where credit's due. He's on three kills. Now, I'm looking behind me. I don't have a shot on the low. Low, Louie, Louver. I don't have a shot on either of those tanks. But I've just knocked the tree over. Hopefully he hasn't seen me. There's the Udes. This is the, um, this is the tier eight Swedish medium tank. This is, this, this is when it wasn't that. This is from patch 1.5, not 1.5.1. This is when the, uh, the new Swedish mediums were, were pretty new. I've got APCR later. I'm confident I can penetrate the Udes from, from pretty much any angle, but he is, he's pretty, it's, it's a pretty, uh, pretty groovy looking tank. Did I get some assisted damage on him? No, I didn't. Pull back here. Four and a half minutes left on the clock. Looks like the Louis is going for our friends. Something just hits him for 450 damage. I'll shoot him again. Shoot him again. There he goes. IS-3A gets the kill. And the IS-3A is over there. Oh, I thought it was the ISU. The ISU is just there. Oh, what a noob I am. Or maybe the ISU is relocated. The IS-3A kills him. Now, the IS-3A is on plenty of hit points. So he'll be licking his lips here. Now, we find the P-44 Pantera. 
slowly, slowly aim. Switch back to standard rounds because why not? I only got two standard rounds remaining. There's only two tanks remaining. The Tiger P, who's last spotted, there he is on full health, 1,450 hit points. And I want some of that. 2,878 damage done. 749. There's artillery. You can't not shoot artillery when he's been spotted. I've got standard rounds loaded, so so why not? Shoot him once, shoot him twice. Now we're down to 11 APCR rounds. Now 10. This could be, is this, this isn't going to be a Fadens, surely. Now I get spotted here, but I've found the Tiger P. I want to keep him spotted because he's going back to um, he's going back to back to the forest, back to the bushes. I'm just going to keep shooting him. He's down to 920 hit points. I've got six rounds remaining. Shoot him and track him, and the Striv gets the kill just as he goes unspotted. 1,500 assisted damage, 3,811. That's damage done. That's what the game suggests, and I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it, folks. That was a win. Nothing wrong with that. That was a win. Not only a win, but uh, from yours truly, an Ace Tanker Mastery Badge and a Mark of Excellence. If you've been watching my stream, I've been trying to get a few Marks of Excellence on a few different tanks. That was totally unintentional. I'm, I, only, I think it was might have been before work when I was on an afternoon shift. I thought, I'll play a... I know, looking at the time, oh, the time could mean anything. But I was thinking, oh, I just need to get this thing where I've got to do lots of individual shots of damage. It was part of some kind of promotion. For one mark of excellence, Ace Tanker Mastery Badge, Spot a Medal for that assisted damage, Bruiser, Five for Effect, Two Binds for the Confederate and the High Caliber. I reckon I did okay. 3,881 damage done, which is exactly what the in-game uh, damage counter suggests. So none of those blind shots went through, but who cares? Three kills, 1472 base experience, 56 shots fired, 34 hit, 29 penned. Mm, that's, a, that's a penetration rate of just over 50%. But to be fair, when you're shooting blind, you don't expect many of them to go through, do you? Nearly 2,000 assisted damage. That would have helped with the ace and 95,000 credits. That's after tax with a premium account in that 11 and a half minute game. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Stewie JP in the E70, E25. Cy91 in the Leo, carrying the hell out of that game on Serene Coast. Me all mate, the Flying Elite, going for the 100% mark of excellence in the T44-122. That's the moderator-only tank. And if it keeps going like this, he'll get this easy peasy, no problems whatsoever. And me all mate, Missblade in the King Tiger C, the American-German heavy tank on... Um, Whatever the hell that was, Al Haloof. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Miss Blade and the Flying Elite, YouTube and Twitch. The links will be down below. Thank you very much for the replays. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time. Oh, who doesn't love an extravaganza? Who doesn't love an extravaganza? You know what I love even more than extravaganzas? Giving shit away. So don't forget to follow us on YouTube. This channel right here. Follow us on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, 1,000 followers on Twitch. It's free to do both. Links down below. 1,000 on each. We'll give 1,000 bucks worth of stuff. As long as it's done by the end of August. If you followed us, if you hit 1,000 by the end of August, we'll give 1,000 bucks worth of stuff away live on Twitch in raffles and giveaways and all that kind of stuff. Thanks again for all your support over years, everybody. It's been absolutely epic. Uh, we're not going anywhere. We are getting ready to rock and roll and give away 1,000 bucks worth of in-game goods from the World of Tanks Asia shop and cold hard cash via PayPal. Check us out. Links down below. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on Twitch. Get on board and check us out on Discord as well for more important information and, um, and all that kind of jazz before I go away for a couple of weeks in July. Again, thanks for watching and take care and see you all next time.